term self-defense, and, and again, I quote Dan Millman, the, the, uh, uh, the conventions of language reveals the ways in which we see the world. How we talk to ourselves, how we express things, uh, how we internalize words and, and, and create images in our minds and so on and so forth, has a really huge impact on how we see the world. The term self-defense automatically states that I need to defend myself against a predator or an attacker, which automatically states that I am a victim in possible peril, and if I don't do anything, I will get hurt or killed. Okay, um, but if you change that term or you you change your neuro association to the word self-defense, and what I like to use, I like to use the term protective offense. Okay, because it's the same thing, but it's a totally different way of looking at it. Where you're threatening me now, but I'm going to offensively protect myself if you force me to do so. Which means that now, self-defense would state, grab the knife and you know, try to uh, uh, terminate the danger as soon as possible. But that leads me to maybe momentary hesitation where he's still the attacker in my head. No, not anymore. Okay? Protective offense states, hey man, I don't want any problems. As I grab the knife and do this here, my knee lifts. And then as my knee lifts, I back fist him here. And then I go, boy, and I spit in his face. And oh, I bite his hand. Okay? And then I click him with an elbow. And then, you know, and then I'll take it and slice, you know, and push him, whatever. Okay? I'm just, I'm not saying uh, stab the guy or cut him after you. <laughs> okay? A little liability. Okay. But anyway, disclaimer. Um, so protective offense states that you will defend yourself, however, the way in which you look at it will, will allow you to react much quicker and much more uh, efficiently, I believe. Okay? Uh, 